I'm going to share with you today exactly how I came to the conclusion to use my putter grip. Now, no matter if you've seen the putter grip, you can see in the thumbnail or it's a claw, it's left hand low, hands together. I'm going to show you exactly what foundations you need when holding this golf club. Okay. Also, depending on what thickness of putter grip you have, I'm going to recommend what grip style you should be looking for because some are better than others. Now you might be thinking, why are we looking at this today? Well, we've got a question in here from Harry Moser and said, hi Alex, thank you very much for the support and all the commitment. I have a pistol putter grip. What type of grip would you recommend for a pistol grip? So a pistol grip is one of those very thin grips. So as well as recommending that, we're gonna look at medium grips, thick grips, but what foundations do you need? Let's start there. There are five fundamentals that you need and we're gonna go through each of them one by one. By the way, I'm definitely a flag out person. I don't know how Matt Fitzpatrick puts with the flag in, but what are you? Are you flag in or flag out? I mean, I always think this. Who's me to question Matt Fitzpatrick? He's one of the best putters on tour, but for me, it just doesn't look great with the flag in. Right, there are five fundamentals, and as we go through these, I bet you there's a moment in time where you go, blum and have I been doing it wrong all this time? I know there will be. So the first one on our list is elbows. Now I know you might be thinking, well Alex, what has this got to do with our grip? But it sets the foundations for control. So we don't want elbows out, we want elbows in and palms up to start with. Let's get in that position. Now you'll also notice those elbows are not behind my rib cage, they're not sitting in front, they're on the side of my rib cage. So almost like, I always picture this, I'm covering up this seam on my shirt well, my Julie, okay? This seam right here, I'm covering it up. Gets them on the side of the body. There should be a little bit of pressure there too, just pressing a little bit. So we've got our arms inside the body, point number one. We then have to go for point number two. We need to bring our palms down and facing and thumbs down, okay? So as we're bringing our hands down, we're palms facing, thumbs down as point number two. We need our thumbs down and essentially just takes our wrists out the golf shot. When our thumbs are pointing down, there's far less movement that they can make. When they're pointing up or in this position, we've got far more movement. And think what that does? More movement to our club face. So point number two, palms facing and thumbs down. Now, let's get our hands on this golf club. What I like to have, if you see these ridges of our putter as point number three, I like to feel as though the club is running through my lifelines. So you can see there, the meaty part isn't on top like you would on a traditional normal grip. It's very much running through my lifelines, just there like that on each of my hands, okay? So think ridges and lifelines. Let me hold this up too, so you can see that. So point number three in the lifelines, I'm sort of putting that grip in there, just like that. Not there, like that. Again, we're trying to minimize wrists. We don't need wrists in this shot. Wrists are like power. We wanna take them out of this shot a little bit. So point number three on our list is that we're trying to get the club in our lifeline. So like, just, just look at that position there and then that it really feels like you've got real good control of that putter head. Okay, point number four in our list, we always want the palms facing. Now I know I mentioned that when we're bringing our thumbs down, but when we're putting, I like to have our palms facing each other. Think about it logically, it's like an equal and opposite force. Even if you go with variations, they should still be facing each other to some degree. I mean, on here it might be slightly different, but I like to have the palms facing each other as close as possible. And number five on our list, my personal preference, and this is how I came to the conclusion of making my grip, which I'll show you exactly, and where a lot of golfers go wrong when I teach them, is having these hands as close together as possible. We don't want a big difference. We don't want them difference here. We want them as close together as possible, in my opinion. So this is how I make my grip. So the five fundamentals are here on the side of the screen. We want to have our elbows on the side of the body, thumbs down, clubbing the lifelines, palm facing, and hands as close together as possible. So if you look at my grip here, coming close, I do it like this. So I'm interlocking these three fingers with my first, a little bit like this. So when it comes together, it's very much like that, like that. So with the putter there, and if I turn my club upside down for you in a second as well, you'll really see that from the underneath. Have a look at that there. That's how my hands are 
on this golf club. Now you notice I've got, I would say, like a medium to thick grip, and that's really allowing me to get those hands together as close as possible. We're gonna talk about those variations in a second, but first, let's try and hold this putt. I left myself a stinker here. Downhill, right to left, relatively quick. Get your hands on, and just get it rocked back and through. See, this has got some movement on it. Go, go, oh, left it in the jaws. That's a decent putt though, very decent putt. Right, let's talk through variations of what you can do. Variation number one, the claw. What I would do and recommend if you want to try this claw is have my top hand in this lifeline as I suggested before. But with the claw, our bottom hand, so our right hand for right hander, our left hand for left hander, is literally clawing this grip between our first finger and our thumb. So it should look a little bit of something like that. Now, the personally, I'm not a big fan of this. It feels a little bit weird, but that is one of the variations you could try. He says, holding this one. Maybe I should. The next one is left hand low. So my top hand, my right hand now, is at the top of the golf club in the lifelines of this ridge, and then I go left hand low. Again, matching the lifelines. Now, one thing I like to do, I like to have my right hand finger running across my little finger and the finger next to it, just like that. Now, this is a very popular grip on tour, just, and actually with a lot of amateurs, because it gets those shoulders level. Look how level my shoulders are. And I'll be honest, it's a putter grip I have also used in the past. So if you're gonna try this, make sure you match the lists to the palms in the lifelines and the fingers just like this. The final two before we move on to grip thickness and what's best for what grip, pencil grip. I like to have my finger when I do the pencil grip running down the side of the shaft like this and these fingers just behind. Essentially, when you're using a grip like this, you're trying to take out that bottom hand from getting a bit overactive through the shot. As you can see, I'm not really a fan of these, but I need to show you what's best in terms of what you can do if you're gonna try them because I don't want you to go wrong. And the final one is the saw. Similar to the claw, but the claw, the hand was more down. The saw, the hand's fingers work more across. If I'm being perfectly honest, I really hate this grip. I would go no way near it. But of course, you might like them. Give them a go, who knows? You might love the saw grip. All I wanna do is show you exactly, if you're thinking of trying them, what you should look for. Now let's talk grip thickness. If you've got a putter grip that is really, really thick, I'd be looking at getting those hands as close together as possible. Taking a grip like this, where the hands are evenly spread each side. So for example, if you use like a two thumb grip or a really oversized grip, that is what I would look for. Now, as you go to a thinner grip, let's just say a little bit thicker than my shaft, you wanna be really looking maybe about how I do it, but just with the hands on a thinner grip. That's how what I would really recommend. Right hand slightly low, hands close together, and this finger running down. Now, one thing you'll realize in a thinner grip is that it's harder to get this club in those lifelines. So being perfectly honest, I'm not telling you what grip to go and get, but I like grips that are on the medium to thick side of things. I just think they're much better for golfers, and that's the trend that we see happening. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let me know down below in the comments what you need help with.